Hi, I'm Steve, 3D Technical Advisor at 123 3D UK. We are aware that some of the manufacturer's instructions aren't as comprehensive as they should be, so we thought we would make a video to help beginners get started printing. For the purposes of the video, we've used the Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo model. The guide is generic across a wide range of different printers and not specific to this model of printer. The principles that we've discussed in this video are fundamentally the same across a wide range of different printers. The tips in this video will get you to a higher quality print that you're happy with faster. One of the most common problems that we get asked on customer service for anybody new to 3D printing is, why does my bed wobble? The arm moves, the extruder isn't fixed securely and has a lot of free play movement. This is very easily remedied and it isn't mentioned in most of the instruction manuals. On the Z-axis we have two eccentric nuts. These are basically little cammed nuts that will allow us to adjust the wheels to give the right friction on the track and they'll remove any excessive play from the machine. Very easily done, just literally little turns, checking each time that you've reached the required amount of resistance. Basically what you're looking for is for the wheels to be able to move with very little friction. There, we can now just gently move the wheels, but we can feel that they are rubbing on the track. Again, just snug on the track, not too tight. And then we'll move on to the extruder. So now we're going to tighten the eccentric nuts under the print bed. So once we've adjusted all the eccentric nuts, your extruder, your Z-axis and the bed will all be firm and any excessive play removed. And then we move on to the next step, which is checking the tension of the belts. Again, this is a very important step. If the belts are too loose, it can cause the motor to slip, this will then have a negative impact on your print. The belts predominantly they don't want to be too tight but we're just feeling for a slight amount of tension. For anybody that plays guitar it'd be very similar to a guitar string. Okay that's that done. Okay so the next step is now we've made sure everything's tight and moves freely we want to move on to leveling the bed. It's very important that we do everything in this order. So first of all, we want to tighten all the wheels so it compresses the springs, so it pulls the bed as low as it can possibly go. Once we've done that, we will then home the printer. So the next step, we're going to manually level the bed. Before we start this process, it's important to disable the stepper motors in the prepare menu on your printer. If you don't do this and you try to manually move the axis, it can generate an electrical spike via the motors, which can then damage the printer. So it's very important to disable them before you start this process. So next, we'll just slide the bed back and we'll move the extruder over to the front left corner. Let's take a piece of paper, slide that in between the nozzle and the print bed. And all we do is just turn the wheel until we can feel a little resistance between the nozzle, the paper and the print bed. So once we're happy with that, we'll then move the extruder over to the far wheel and repeat the process again.
once you're happy with that, move the print bed forward, move to the rear wheel. When you're doing this, it's important just to make very small adjustments. Then once you've completed that, I literally just go around again. Happy with that? We can then home the printer, and we're now ready to start our first print. Thanks for watching. We hope this has helped you to get your printer set up. Remember, if you need any extra parts or filament, we stock a wide range of 3D products over at 123 3D UK. The link is in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe.